Watcher lads, welcome to Oak Swamp and part six of the Leaf a Ratty Roaster. Firstly, as always, I'd like to thank everyone who bought one of my lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts. Also, massive thanks to my pal in France, Casper Van Appledorn, Tom Rowland, Roger Davis, and our boy down under, Rangy Man, for going to the tip jar. Cheers, boys. So, this week on the Leaf, I fabricate and fit the new boot lid frame, ready for that to be skinned. I also shape and hang the timber door frames Greg made for me, and I actually get to skin one of those. But before that, the 38 Flyer. <laughs> Monday. So I sold the steering wheel off for this and got 300 quid for it, which inspired me to break it a little bit further because all I really want of this is the frame. I've got the V5 sorted now, so I've undone everything and I'm about to pull this engine out and I shall be flogging that off. And that'll leave me with this frame and I've got, I've got a really cool idea for that. Look at all that. Look. Ooh. So we lost all the oil because the spline came out. We undid all the prop shaft bolts, but the size of that spline, it's a big lump, isn't it? Well done, see the rounds. Good man. Oh, they look funky, don't they? I'm looking forward to seeing what these look like. They look nuts. Damn irons are all nice and solid, though. Fortunately. Yeah, she's good. Alright, I got that tunnel out. I'm going to take this rear bumper off now, and that'll probably be about enough. But it's just enough that it makes it a bit easier to roll, and lets me see what's going on. Okay, that'll do it. It's bare enough. This reminds me of the hook, Land Rover box section. See how much bigger he is than the rat. He's real long, but not for long. Dale's here. Good day, Oak Swampers. And what have you got for me today then, Dale? Well, this is my ring roller. Perfect for doing, you know, long radiuses, short radius. You can move the, the rollers to close them up to do a tight radius, that sort of thing. So yeah, it's a good bit of kit. Yeah, I use it a lot. You might remember when I did the in the frame on the leaf, I had all the nice curved bits of steel is what Dale dropped off. Now what he's gonna do for me today is He's going to curl a couple of bits of steel for the boot lid so I can make a boot lid frame for the dicky seat because uh, I want to make it pretty strong. Are they going to be easy? Yeah, take a bite.
Is that you? Yeah. You might remember Lisa from the Goodwood video. She was cutting the, the, the princess's hair, wasn't you? <laughs> the Duchess. Yeah. You've been doing her hair for some years now, haven't you? About six years now, oh, yeah. yeah. She likes you, doesn't she? Yeah. Dale's getting on with the bend, look. What do you think of that? Nice shirt, Liz. Thanks. My mate gave it to me. Did he? Yeah. All the Jesus of hot rods, bro. You'll know. You'll know. <laughs> no, that's banging, man. She said, you're such a fool. She said, you're such a fool. She said, you're such a fool. Yeah, man. That's bang on, that is. How's it feel? Good. <laughs> I got to sit anywhere near him. <laughs> Oh, this is painful. I'm going to get so much shit. Oh, well, yeah, getting so much <laughs> shit for this. It's posing, isn't it? It's posing. It's awful. You love it. Not Joey Essex, for Christ's sake. Joey. David Essex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, probably. So, folks, don't forget to get your T-shirts. Right, I'm going to get in the back here, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be like your child. That's about right. Are we nearly there yet? Yeah? Pack it in. Are we nearly Pack it there yet? Yeah? You're going to ruin the day out. You're going to ruin it. Don't spoil it, you've been good all day. Leaf surfing. <laughs> Lord. Don't worry, I'll speed it up. Right, okay, Tuesday. Time to get on with this. Now, what I'm going to do first, I think, is have a go at making this bit up. I use this as a template and I've drawn the line right down here. And now I'm going to come up here and come in there somewhere. Right now, I've got to bead this edge round, tip it over. We're living on the ceiling, ain't quite what it used to be. It don't take much to get there, it's coming down, you see. Been drinking brandy, popping pills, whatever gets me high. Well, I'm just that kind of guy. When I'm inside out, I'm upside down, I'm back to front. He's upside out, he's inside out, he's fucked right up. Well, I don't listen what they say in it. Chop these down, make them flush. When I'm broken, bruised, and bloody nose, my body hurts like hell. The skin and plate have said to me, who more was that smell? It's time to turn my life around, at least give it a try. Well, I'm just that kind of guy. taken a bit off the bottom. It's made the whole boot lid a bit short. So I figured if I take a little bit more there, it gives you a bit more leg room when you're going in. Not that I'm going in there. So what I'm gonna do is try and take this piece right off. It's got screws along it. And these things. Baby, I can't sleep. 
probably wonder what happened to this leaf from answers, you know. Because there's, there's been lots of little repairs over the years. Little bits of stuff that not supposed to be there. I wonder when it went wrong for this car. Well, now maybe I find peace. Then you know you work your job. When you get home late. Yeah, you're having those dark thoughts. Perhaps it's all too. Okay, so to get these these bends exactly right, to water them, what I'm doing is clamping them in the vise there and then giving it a little slug. And it just puts a little bit of a curl in there. Okay, if I can match these two up. Oh, yeah, a little bit more there. And often this is. Okay, they're not bad. Right, I've been thinking about hinges for a little bit and I've decided I'm gonna get use these brass ones and I'm gonna I'm gonna rivet them on. At least I can get it set up. I might come up with something a bit better later, but I kinda like the idea of these at the moment. Now you're all out of steam. Standing on the edge, man. And it rolls away real steep. Now the ground falls away, and you see your own grave. Open the bag, man, you ain't changed. All right, so they're gonna sit in there somewhere like that. So what I'm gonna do is mark them off and just stick one rivet in each, and then I'll fix them with little little bolts afterwards, so you can just take it off. When I keep on Okay, moving on to the doors. So a while back my mate Greg knocked me up these timber frames and made of oak. And he's put a bit of shape in them, always. But they still need shaping up, obviously. What I plan to do is get this hanging on the hinges and then adjust the back as I go. So I'm using a bit of 10 mil spacer underneath so I can keep a rubber in there. I'm gonna have to chew this corner away because that wants to sit there, so that's... This is what I've got to do. It's got to go that way, and it's got to go that way. So, my tool of choice for removing material is, of course, the grinder. I went up on a mountain, go raise me a little cane. Get me a barrel of 
sugar up to sweeten lives of Jane. Right, but there you go. Now I've got to cut this down. What this has got is a rebate on it. But I'm not going to go to all of that nonsense. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an angle down. So it comes across like that. I got a pig home in a pen, going to feed him all. All I need is a pretty little girl to feed him when I'm gone. Alright, there you go, there's the other one done then. Now comes the fun part. So I've got to cut that off. Y'all comes that girl of mine, how do you think I know? I can tell by the gingham gown that's hanging down so low. I got a pig home in a pen, going to feed him on. All I need is a pretty little girl to feed him when I'm gone. Bake them biscuits, ladies, bake them good and brown. When we get those biscuits baked, we're Alabama bound. Now I gotta do this one. This one, I think it's gonna be a bit more of a pain. I got a pig home in a pen, gonna feed him on. All I need is a pretty little girl, feed him when I'm gone. Right, okay, there's this one. You can see it's got enough space for the metal. And it's got a nice curve round. Right, finish off. Going across like that. That was a bit of a carry on, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Well, that is really cool. I wasn't looking forward to those. Now all i got to do is cover them in tin. So my mate Paul popped in last night, dropped me off this really cool rivet nut gun so I can get all these rivet nuts sorted. So these doors are near enough where I want them. This one I'm just going to do a bit of fine tuning on. This one is actually really good. A surprise, but it's still going to need a little bit of bit of fine tuning as it goes in. Enjoying this. Reservations I won't pass. I said, Hi, Mr. Gator, how do you do? And it took one snap and he fell off my shoe. Right, I think I'm pretty much there. I've got good gaps around the bottom, got a bit of curve going on down there, goes tight in the corner. Now I've got the boot lid of the old Austin. Because it's got a bit of curve going on that So I figure it can only help. Never done door skin on a car before. And I certainly haven't done it to an oak thing. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. Right, I've just turned these boot lid over. And I remembered I've got two of these little boot catches which I can put up here somewhere, which is handy. So I think the curve across there and it's curving that way. Right, so if that's the top, I'm assuming if I clamp this all the way round, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do on those corners, but we'll work that out when we get there. So I reckon I need a bit of a bit of wood or something to clamp around it. So I put that return on the top. And I've clamped this with a bit of wood all the way down and I'm going to attempt 
So tap this over. I'm gonna start at this end and see, see what she does. I punched him hard and I beat him good. I hit him on the head with a love wood. Kicked his belly and I made him sag. I made a nice pair of boots and my wife a bag. Done there, let's fold the paint off, but we ain't too worried about that. I won't stay forward and two steps back. I got on the train, but she ran out of track. Right, you ready? Say the wall step forward and the two steps back. Got on that train, but she ran out of track. I won't step forward and two steps back. And that's where my luck is at. That's where my luck is at. That's where my luck is at. Okay, so next time I'm going to be skinning this other door frame. I'm going to be skinning this boot lid. I'm going to continue round here and fill all of these gaps in under here. Finish off these bits. Also, I want to get this steering put into exactly the right place and then I can carry on working with the dash and the timber toppings for all round here. I've ordered a pair of door catches, so I'll be getting these doors to sit correct as well. But if you want to see me do any of that, you're going to have to tune in next time. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you want to support the channel, please go over to the tip jar, or better still, buy one of my lovely Oak Swamp t-shirts. And I will catch you dudes next time. Hang loose!